Christmas season bogging you down. My ex-wife uh, won't let me see my daughter for Christmas. What, the, what is that about? Yeah, I may not know the whole alphabet, but I know X is never a good letter. Mom. 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 Mommy. Mom. Ryan. What's wrong? Nothing. I'm just... Are you alright, Ryan? I won't let me see Sarah. Oh, sweetie. Yeah, I don't know. She's just... You know what? I have one appointment, and when I'm done, I'm yours for the rest of the holidays. <sighs> I just wish everyone else was here, too. Ryan. Maybe after the holidays when it's not so busy. Okay. I'm gonna drink your wine, though. Oh! <laughs> What? Martin, it's Ryan. That's not a good time. George, come on home, quick. Your father's had a stroke. Mary, Mary, I'm sorry, I've got to go. Come on, George, let's hurry. You got a doctor? Yeah. Head loose there now. It's really in there. Big phony super sites, Pete speaking. You're still working there, huh? Uh, yeah, I get pizza commish. On the DL. You know that they have calzones every day. Are they throwing the garbage? When I'm working, not one calzone sees the garbage bin. Pete. Also, on my birthday, I get my shirts pressed for free. How many dipping sauces did you want? Pete, shut up. I got some bad news. I'm gonna need you to tell Martin because I can't get a hold of him. Who is this? It's Ryan. Take it easy on the mozzarella. It's gonna give me man boobs. Even, I wouldn't worry too much about that. It wasn't your body that made me fall in love with you. Mm. I like your hair today. Cut it out. I'm gonna run my 30 minute gel job. I'll give you a 30 minute gel Steve, job. honey, your brother's on the phone. Excuse me. Hi, Thomas. I didn't hear you come in. Hi, Olive. Let myself into the back door. Cod. No, thanks. What? Hello, Steven. Okay, but I need you to come home for Christmas. What do you mean she's sick? Okay. Meet me at the door! It's gonna be important. Yeah, it's pretty important. Let's give it one to ten. I'm gonna say probably 2.7. 2.7 on my scale is big. I revert it. Zero is what the height. What? It's about mom. She's probably not gonna last. What? You're just not right for this band, Shell. <laughs> Bullshit, Bobby. This is our this is our studio. Why are you throwing balls around? You could be frontlining three chicks in one stick shift downtown. You're better than us. I started this band. Without me, you're just background. I'm always background. I'm the drummer. You posers. One, two, three, four. Shelby. What do you want, Ryan? Meet me for a burrito or something. Hi. Hi. What's up? I What's up? Are you the milkshake and BLT? Minus the B. Because I don't know you don't eat animals. Get to the point, boy. Mom wants to all get together for Christmas. Huh? Excuse me? Mom wants us all to get together for Christmas. All of us? You mean like all of us? Yeah, all of us. All of us? What are you, a parrot? Yeah, all of us. Well, I'm going on tour, so. You get back. Mom's dying, Michelle. This is your tactic? 
Mom wants all of us to get together for one last Christmas. Really? Write a book. Serious, Shell. Got your wallet inside. You okay? I'll go. Okay. Okay. Good, because I, I need a ride home. Yeah, okay, I get it. Where is she? Oh, she's not home. She's at a doctor's appointment or something. When is she coming back? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, don't say anything about the, the whole dying thing. She's really sensitive about it, and she didn't want me to, like... She didn't want me to tell you guys that she was dying. She just wanted everybody home, okay? So just don't mention it. Otherwise, she's gonna, like, flip out on me, and I just don't want that to happen. I need a drink. Breakfast. I don't think I've seen your mother since the wedding. What wedding? Our wedding? Right. Our wedding. So is she still a prostitute? She's a sex surrogate. She sleeps with men for money. What's the difference? That she has a PhD. Hey guys! Hi! Hey! Sorry! Saw you from across the street there. You guys all uh, packed up for your big trip? Thank you so much for watching the place. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay, so just Anytime. make sure make sure that Fluffy gets out twice a day. Mm -hmm. And um, she has to have her cortisone at 8 a.m. sharp. 8 a.m. Yeah, if no she problem. doesn't, she will vomit half digested dog food all over my new parquet. Okay, yeah, yeah. No problem, got it. Let me get that for you. Thanks. Have a good trip, eh? Love the tie. Looking sharp! What's your favorite season to drive? Summer. Why is that? What are like five reasons? Probably destination, right? Probably you could open your windows and have all different kinds of wind blowing in, blowing through your hair. It's probably a lot less stressful because it's a summer and working is a little bit more relaxed. And lastly, it's probably because just the weather, it's warmer and it's nice and you don't have to worry about brushing off your car in the snow. Are those five reasons good? It's weird because I always think fall is the best season to drive in the year. Because it's dry, you don't have the summer drivers, you don't have the winter snow, you don't have the spring solstice or wetness that it brings. I thought you loved the fall. Hey, where's Pete? He saw the new a and in the corner. You talk to Steve? Yeah. What did he say? Um, well, he cried a little bit. How sensitive he is. Well, what's Mom saying? Um, she wants to keep it low, so don't say anything to her. I don't... Isn't that the whole point we're here? Well, no, the whole reason we're here is to have a nice Christmas together for Mom. Yeah, like we normally would. No, we normally wouldn't. That's the whole point. She doesn't know if she's going to be around next year, so she wants to... But she doesn't want to, like, make a big deal about it, so just... Just don't say anything, all right? Well, this should be fun. Just... Why... Whatever. You know how to use that oven, because I have no idea how to use it. I'm really hungry. Oh, my cakes.
Fluffy, where are ya? Fluffy. 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 Steven, why are you with her? You can do so much better than her. We should be together. Oh my god. I need to go see him. Fluffy! You wanna go for a ride? Yeah? Hey, Steve. It's Steven. See you about dessert. This is my wife. Keep telling yourself that. It's okay, Fluffy. It's okay. One thing we can all agree on. I don't eat. Yeah. Just take the pepperoni off. We're just gonna drink shots all night. So this is it, family Christmas? Mm-hmm. Man, Pete's really missing out. I'm so glad everyone's here. Oh. Martin! Oh, it is so good to see you. TV, my boy! Oh, baby, it's been way too long. It has. Hi, Julia. Pickle. Shelby! Oh, it is so good to see you. Oh. Oh, I'm so glad everyone's here. So, what did the doctor say? Ow! You're not supposed to say anything. What? I just asked you what the doctor said. You ruin everything. How do I ruin everything? Do you remember my 11th birthday party? Y you have no clue what you're talking about. When you were on the yeah. rooftop and you jumped off in front of all my friends? But I'm clinically depressed. Do you think I'm- No! Uh, no I can't no. stand it anymore. You're I, have to, I have to get this out. You're ignorant. Do you remember when mom had to miss Steven's graduation? Because you slit your wrist on the bathroom floor and she had to drive you Shelby, to the hospital? Shelby, it's called depression. I'm depressed. I don't want to be depressed, but I'm depressed. I'm medicated for it and I'm trying to cope with it. Cope? Some days I just, yeah, cope. This is the best that I can do. Or I'm jumping sorry. jumping off a rooftop? And do you think that's me trying to be the that's center coping? of attention? That's the problem with people like you. You think this is just me having a bad day or a series of bad days. That's what I want, right? Yeah. How are we you're supposed to- You're ignorant, Michelle, shut to... up. You don't know what you're talking about. You're an ignorant, naive, stupid little girl. Now let mom talk. Today is mom's day. We're all here because mom is dying. <laughs> what? Ryan said that you were sick. I'm not dying. I went for my checkup. What? You know, spread your legs and say, ah, come on. What? Ryan called us all together here because you're dying, <laughs> Ryan. You're talking about Ryan. Ryan, Ryan, did you tell Peter to come get me at my house because mom was dying? Is Peter in on this? No, he doesn't know anything about it. What's going on? It's just, I don't, none of you would have come home if I didn't. They wouldn't have come home if I didn't say something. Good job getting us back in the same room. It's so far so good. Eh? This is fun, isn't it? I don't know. It was just, it was the only thing that I knew. I didn't know what else Wait, to do. Wait, mom's not dying? No, Steven, mom's not dying. Mom, you're not dying? <laughs> Listen, I just wanted everyone together for Christmas. Is that so much to ask? I just wanted everyone here. What's so wrong with that? I just wanted everyone home for Christmas. Hey, you've reached us. Message, and I'll get back to you. Hey, yeah, um, it's me. I'm just uh, pick up the phone because I know you're there. I know you're. All right, fine. Um, I'm gonna come over because um, I have something I want to give to Sarah, and I need you to give it to her uh, tomorrow.
it's, it's, it's a little Christmas present, and uh, let's. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna come over, and I'll give it to you, and you can give it to her, and then I'll stop bothering you. And uh, whatever, just I'm coming over. How's the band? Fine. Are you playing out a lot? Am I playing out? You know, like getting paid. I'm going on tour soon. Is that new? What? The tattoo. It's nice. It's fake. What about the, is that, what do you call it, lip? Fake. Right? Happy? I just asked. I think we had enough of that in there with dinner. Do you think maybe you were a little hard on your brother Martin in there? No, I think I was pretty accurate. Really? Yeah. Everything was always about him, Mom. Look, I don't know what it's like to be depressed, but I know that he d definitely wasn't a good brother. I came here for you, I came here for Ryan. I'm happy everyone's here except for Martin. He has been there for you. You just don't remember. And you know with Ryan bringing everybody together here? Did you know about it? No. I didn't. I can't say that I'm sorry. No, I'm glad he did. I just... I wish Martin wasn't here. I just wish it was everybody else. Don't you think you would miss him? I don't know. We've got a couple of knives here. Why don't we go in? We'll just take them out. You'd miss him. All right, stay here. Stay here, Fluffy, okay? Stay here. I'll be right back. Stay here, stay here. I just, I just wanted to talk to you. Is there somewhere else we could talk? It's, it's freezing out here. Come on inside. Oh, Thanks. Jackpot. Ooh, don't jackpot. Hey. Drop it. Drop it. Oh, come on. Seriously? It's freezing out here. Please let me in, please. Ryan, she's please. sleeping. Ryan, just let me in. Make it quick. What do you want? Where is she? So I just want You're to not going to see her. See she's sleeping. Her. And it's Christmas Good night was a while ago. Just keep your voice down. It's what I'm do you not want? even yelling. What do you want? I just don't want to give her something. It's Christmas Eve. Well, give it to me and I'll put it under the tree. Right. Here. I'm not giving that to her. What is it? A dog toy? Well, it was it was it was in full tact before the dog. Are got you to drunk? It. Well, you smell I'm like not. it. Just for your own sake, I'm not giving that to her. Why are you doing this? You need to leave. It's time to go. Hey, brother. This is my room. Yeah, but when you left, then they gave it to me. I acquired it. Yeah, well, it was my room first. It was my room last. You know what? You, you take the bed, but I'm taking this big blanket. My an asshole, Pete. Yeah. I don't understand why you're always so sad. I feel like if you were just nicer to the people that cared about you, you'd feel a lot better about yourself. There's a cute picture of you as a kid. <laughs> you have a big family, Stephen. Why are there so many studs on the wall? Mother had seven suitors. 
Seven? Like a modern day Snow White. Did I not tell you we all had different fathers? Never came up in conversation. Let me see if I can, where's, where's Steven's dad? Oh my God. Is that Rob Blow? Yes. What? Yes, Rob Lowe is my father. But how? He was in Hamilton filming Youngblood. My mother was an extra in the film. They had a fling during the shoot. I don't think he even knows. Well, isn't that interesting? Like a little Rob Lowe. Stephen, wait. There's something you need to know, Stephen. Oh, wait, no, no, stop, stop. What? Stop. You need to leave Olive, okay? Just tell me the truth. I love you. Come on. I love you. I'm gonna be sick. That someday we'll be together. Still. Chevy Chase. No, That's right. Still gets it in. Oh my God. <laughs> Is uh, Ryan Benny available this evening, please? May I ask why? Uh, he was uh, potentially involved in a domestic disturbance this evening, so I have a couple questions for him. Um, come on in. Ryan! Good evening. Good evening. One of you gentlemen, Ryan Benny? Uh, no. No. We had a call that he may have been. Sir, are you Ryan Benny? <sighs> Martin, what's this about? Mr. Benny was uh, reported to have been involved in a domestic disturbance and possibly driving while intoxicated. Uh, whose silver Mazda is that out front? Is that yours, sir? Uh, no. Oh, that's mine, officer. That's yours. And your name? Uh, Thomas Augustine. I think I know where you're getting your information. And it wouldn't be the first time. But let me assure you, he hasn't left the house. Was it his ex-wife? Well, I'm not eligible to discuss well, that, sir. Let me, I'll vouch for him. She's a bit of a quack. I didn't ask you for that, sir. I'm just telling you. So you say the car's been here all evening? Yes. And Mr. Benny has been here all evening as well. Yes. He's sleeping upstairs. He has the flu. It's getting very contagious. All right. Thank you very much. Just got to follow up on these things. Hey, you got to do your job. Thank you. Merry Christmas. You too. My life has been a series of letdowns and failures. I spent a lot of time wondering, why do I bother? Well, I'll tell you. It's hope, patience, family. I'm writing you this letter under the influence of a broken heart. It's not mine, rather the heart of a good person with good intentions. Ryan's made a lot of mistakes, but so has every father. What he's never done is given up. This weekend, he lied through his teeth so all of us could spend Christmas together. It was kind of a dick move, but it got me thinking. Memories are like pictures. They're precious and warm your heart. But memories live in the past. To move forward, we need hope. Hope pulls you through. Hope moves you forward. Without hope, we die. And I'm learning that even in dysfunction, family brings hope. Family. The people that make you want to be a better person. The people that will slap you in the face, even when you didn't ask them to. I've also learned that Christmas is about getting together and remembering the importance of family, no matter how painful it can be. Ryan wants to be there for Sarah. Don't shut him out from the only thing in his life he's never regretted. I know what it's like when your light burns out. 
It's hard to come back. But Sarah's the light that keeps him going. Please don't let that light burn out. Merry Christmas, Beth. <laughs>